Sometimes the thought of getting away from the office for a long weekend or a couple of days seems like the perfect idea until it comes time to find the cheapest flight. But what if there was an app that can monitor a flight you're thinking of taking and let you know when it's a good time to buy your ticket? Well, there is. It's called Hopper. I'm Christopher Rudder from Rudderless.ca and you're watching Landing Gear, where we review the latest travel apps and the latest travel gear. Named the best travel app in 2015 by Apple and highly used in my travel app arsenal, the Hopper Travel app is the only app that notifies you when it's the cheapest time to fly and buy and allows you to easily book your ticket right in the app. And it goes a little something like this. At the bottom of the app, you have a few options. Watches keeps a list of all the flights you're keeping an eye on. In this case, I'm currently keeping an eye on a flight to New York. Searches allows you to find your flight. Trips is broken down into two parts, upcoming and previous flights you purchased through the app already. Profile is your sign-in option. You can sign in using Facebook, Google, or email. X gets you out of the current screen. Let's get started with searches. It's pretty straightforward. First, you choose your currency. Then enter your departure airport or city. In this case, it says Toronto because it knows where I'm at right now, but you can choose any destination. Let's stick with Toronto. Start by typing in the departure city. You'll notice that in this case, there are three airports and two choices. A quick side note, being from Toronto, I happen to know which airports these are. If I didn't know Toronto, I would choose three airports. Next, type in the arrival city. In this case, New York is the name of the US state as well as the city. So since I want the city, tap New York City, three airports. At first glance, Hopper gives you some quick tips like good deals for non-stop flights start at $197 round trip or flights with stops average about $48 more. Below that, you have a color legend. Green means cheapest, orange is okay, dark orange is not that okay, and red is expensive. Below that is a calendar showing you the best and the worst day to buy your ticket. The first week of May looks really good, while the last week of July really sucks. Below that, you have options to show you the rest of the calendar months or to pick your dates. Tap on a month you want to zoom in, choose your departure date, then choose your return date. Click select these dates. You'll be given the lowest available price right now, some ticket advice, the option to watch this trip, and a future price prediction. If you choose to watch this trip, you will get notifications when this flight is getting cheaper or when the price is rising. If you click on the blue bar at the top or the little airplane at the bottom, you are taken to all flights leaving in the date range that you selected. As you scroll down, you are given flight times, airlines, and the price. As you scroll further down, the price gets higher. When selecting your flight, it is important to pay attention to and know where these airports are relative to the city you're flying to and where your accommodations are located. Be sure to look up the airport call letters. For example, Toronto YTZ is Toronto Island Airport, Billy Bishop, and EWR is the Newark International Airport out in New Jersey. YYZ is the Toronto International Airport, while L LG8 is LaGuardia Airport out in Queens, New York. So if your accommodations are in Queens, it might be better to choose LGA. Choose your outbound time and airport you want. Then select the return flight time and airport. You are then brought to a confirmation screen. If everything checks out, tap choose travelers and payments and you're all set. So hop to it pun intended, start watching some flights and plan your next weekend getaway. If you like this video, please subscribe. Got a travel app or gear you want to share or you want to share your thoughts, do so in the comments below. Visit our website for more great short quick trip ideas. Thanks for watching.